Hey, what is up everybody? This is Jason with devslopes.com and in this video, we are going to learn about SAS partials. Now, partials are used in SAS to help modularize your project, which we've kind of already done here, right? We broke those down into smaller snippets of SAS that are easy to find and easy to edit. All right, that's what we've done here. All right, we've, in a sense, already modularized our project. Now, what I've done here is I've actually used the same project that we used in the last lesson and I made some minor changes to it. So what I did is I created two folders and you can go ahead and do this too. Create a SAS folder and a CSS folder uh, at the project level and then go ahead and dump all your CSS in the CSS folder and all your SAS in the SAS folder, all right? And you can see that this really helps uh, separate our CSS from our SAS, and all of our SAS is gonna compile right here into our CSS folder. So let's talk about partials, right? I mentioned that partials are used to help break up and uh, modularize our, our SAS here, which, like I said, we already did. Well, we haven't exactly used a partial. We kind of did with these files, right? I mean, we're including smaller snippets of uh, CSS to be styled and everything, and we've separated things, but an actual SAS partial has a leading underscore on the file, all right? And what that does, it's like this. What this does is it tells SAS not to compile this file. And you might be like wondering, wait, what? like not compile the, the file. Um, we already did this and we were compiling all of our SAS files just fine before. And you're right, we were. Let me show you what we were doing. So with the uh, terminal here, um, I'm gonna navigate into my project. So this is in CD, it's on my desktop, SAS forward slash projects. And then this one is called number four something structural, structure partials. So now I'm inside my project. So before what we did, is we took a single file to watch and asked it to output to another specific file, okay? We did this, we did uh, sass dash dash watch app, uh, well I guess we have to go into, yeah, app dot sass into app dot css, okay? We were watching just a specific file and telling it to output to a specific file. Well, we've structured a project a little bit differently. Now, instead of watching a single file, I have to watch an entire directory, right? Because what I did is I took all these folders, all right, and I stuck them into a top level directory. So we've got to watch this entire directory for any changes made to the files that are in it. All right, so how do we do that? Well, let's uh, come back here. And what we're gonna do is we're still going to do our SAS watch, uh, but to watch our folder, we're going to simply write SAS, I can spell and then CSS. So what we're asking SAS to do is watch this SAS uh, folder, this directory, and output everything into this directory. Now, remember when we um, watched a specific file and compiled that, it generated a CSS file and a map file for that. Now we're watching an entire directory that has all those files. And I want to show you what this does. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and look at that. We just had loads of files that were created for us. Um, so if you come into the CSS now, we've got uh, a, a map file and then the CSS file and then the map file and the other CSS file for each one of these. And we've got like half CSS, half not, and we just created a massive mess in this. So what do we need to do? Well, that's where partials come in, all right? I said partials uh, start with the leading underscore, and what those do is it tells SAS not to watch those files. So we're still importing all of our SAS uh, files into that directory file we created. We don't want to uh, watch these regular files. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and close all this. I'm going to select all these folders in here, and I'm going to delete those. All right, so move to trash. We don't want them, it's trash. And it looks like I have some more. All right, go ahead and delete these. All right, oh my gosh, my watcher is still set up, so everything that's happening, it's being watched. That's why it keeps pumping out all these stupid files. All right, now, 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 I can go ahead and delete that. Well, cool. So now we're back to square one. So let's go ahead and on all these files, 
what I want you to do is create this uh, to be a partial and simply go ahead and add a underscore to it. So we did the footer. Let's go ahead and uh, do the header here. All right, we're going to add the underscore here. And then we're almost done. Do the same thing uh, to the button underscore. And then we've got one more. We're going to do this to the nav bar. All right, great. Awesome. And then, you know what? We actually have to do that to the directory files, right? There's still a SAS file. We're just using it to, to import stuff. So go ahead and complete that. All right, easy enough, easy enough. All right, so now what we've done is we've created these all to be partial, so now SAS isn't going to watch them. It's going to now go through our SAS directory and ignore these SAS partials and then compile the actual SAS uh, file that we have in here, right? And what we've done in this is we've already imported these. Now, the other thing is we added those um, leading underscores to all of our directory files. Well, we don't need to go ahead and change anything here. All right, again, SAS is smart. It knows what a partial is and it knows what a SAS file is. So we don't need to add that extension to it. So SAS behind the scenes just is going to take care of it for us. So now, if we go ahead and we run the watch again, everything uh, looks good here. Uh, we should have all of our CSS now compiled into our CSS file here. So that's what a partial is, all right? So when you break down those smaller SAS files, be sure to make those partials so that they don't get compiled and end up in your CSS folder. And those are partials. I hope you learned a lot and we're going to be using them. That's a wrap for this lesson. Let's move on.